Doghouse, don't you? I remember when we lived in the city and we didn't have room for a doghouse for you. <laughs> Would you like to hear the story about living in the city again, Clifford? <laughs> okay, I think we have time for one more story. <laughs> Let's see. When I first brought you home, you were a tiny, tiny puppy, but it wasn't very long before you really started to grow. In fact, you got so big, you couldn't even fit into the house anymore. I'm sorry, Clifford. I love you very much, but you're too big to fit in my room now. You're too big to fit in the building. I'll see you first thing in the morning, I promise. Now go lay down. Good night. Sorry, Clifford. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Is Clifford okay, Emily Elizabeth? What's happening? Is it Clifford? Is he all right? I think Clifford's having a hard time sleeping tonight. Maybe he'd like a blanket to curl up with like my little Taffy has. Our Brutus can't sleep a wink without his favorite bear. And Frankie down there really loves his little basket. Maybe Clifford would like something like that too. Don't worry, Emily Elizabeth. We'll find something to make Clifford more comfortable. We'll make sure he's nice and cozy by bedtime tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford. How does that feel? It sure was nice of all our neighbors to bring these blankets for him. Everyone really pitched in. This is for you too, Clifford. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, I'm glad you like it. He looks really happy now. Come on, it's time for us to go to bed too. Hmm. Good night, Clifford. 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 Come on, boy. Time for a walk. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's get this leash on you and off we'll go. Adios! dog like that needs a big workout. Does he like to fetch balls? Sure. Woof. I guess they've never seen a big red dog before, Clifford. Okay, kids, batter up!
back to that field and played ball almost every day that summer. Remember, Clifford? Woof. It was really fun. But all that growing and exercise were really giving you a big appetite. We went to the grocery store almost every day. Emily Elizabeth? Where are you, honey? <laughs> Here I am. You know, I'm beginning to understand how Clifford must feel, living in that small backyard with not much room to move. I've been thinking that too. As hard as we try to make Clifford comfortable here, there's just too much of him and not enough space. Maybe Clifford could live in the baseball park. Then he'd have lots of room, and we could build him a great big doghouse. Actually, <laughs> Actually we, we had, had something, something else, else in mind. All the room you need to be happy. <sighs> Hmm. And I'm pretty happy here, too. Good night, Clark.